In order to shape the sound dynamically in time, we normally make use of an envelope generator. The envelope generator on the ES1 is over here. It's a type of control module. Now, it's labeled ADSR because it's got an attack segment, a decay segment, a sustain segment, and a release segment. Now, attack and decay and release are determined by time, which we've got on the ES1, short to long. Sustain is measured by a level. So, the basic things that we need to think about most of the time is how long does it take to start, how long does it stay up, or it'll stay up as long as we hold our note, but at what level, and how long after we've released the note will it go to zero. So the, the attack is the beginning, the sustain is at what level it stays at when we're holding the note, and the release is how long it takes to go back to silence after the note is released. Currently, we've got a very short attack with maximum sustain. So we expect to sound, the sound to start very quickly, which it does. I can slow down the attack. It's, it's perceivably slower. Or I could make it ridiculously slow. So the attack time determines how long it takes to start. If we make it quite fast like that, it's quite quick. Sometimes if we have it on really short, we, on some synthesizers, that will make a click. So we'll just make it a little bit quick. Now the sustain level, currently it's sustaining at maximum. But if I wanted to, I could make it to sustain halfway, or very quiet, or so quiet we can't hear it, zero. Now the time that it takes to get from the maximum signal level down to the sustain level is determined by the decay time. We can make it go a long time. or a short time, or somewhere in between. Once we've got our sustain level, eventually we will release our note, and the time it takes to go to zero will be determined by the release time. Currently, it's quite quick. I can make it quite long. I'll play that again. I now release the key, and it takes a long time to go down. I'll make it quite ridiculously fast. I play the note, and now I'll release the key now. Sometimes, if it's too short, it can make a click. Now, one feature that the ES1 has is that we've got different modes that our envelope generator can act in. Currently, it's in ADSR, so all of these controls have an impact. But if I don't want to have the decay, I can turn it on like that. So uh, A gate R. So now this and this, the decay and the sustain, are not being used. So I can make a slow attack and a medium decay, oh sorry, release, and now it's got to the end of the attack and it's still staying at maximum. These things here are being ignored. I release the note and it dies away. I can also have it so that it only listens to the gate, oh sorry, the release. So now with the slow attack, when I play the note, it will still come on fast. Now, 
an important thing that we can do is have the envelope generator, the ADSR, also controlling the filter. Now I've got the envelope generator currently just controlling the amplifier, which is the volume. But we can also have it control the filter by adding this control here. Let's actually zero it and make it so that we cannot hear any sound or just a little bit of sound. Now let's make our sustain level maximum and we'll turn this up. I may need to make the attack fast. You can see the filter is opening up more, getting high frequency sounds in as we increase this. I can make it have a slow attack. And I can make the sustain come down. So that can shape the timbre of the sound as well as the volume. So the envelope generator can control the volume and control the timbre.